Let's make our way over to Mike Seidel, who's been braving the elements out in Texas. Uh, Mike, what is the latest in terms of your totals? Well, this is a, a pretty decent snowfall by any stretch of the imagination here in Lubbock. Considering the last two winters, they've been almost uh, skunked with only half an inch of snow combined, and they average 8.2 already now officially six inches. And I checked the record books. That now makes today, this calendar day, December 8th, the fifth snowiest calendar day on record in December. That's saying a lot. Now, their snowiest day was just three years ago, December 27th, 2015. They had almost a foot of snow, and that was their second biggest uh, storm on record. So, you know, late December can snow here. It's a heavy, wet snow. We come out here to the feeder road, the frontage road. They have a lot of those in Texas along the freeways. This is uh, not 27. This is US 62. Few headlights down the road here. It's a, it's a, it's a quiet Saturday morning. I think a lot of folks would just stand put at this point. Uh, remember, it is an hour earlier here in West Texas. We can uh, see here a car. We'll listen to this car coming up. Very wet, sticky, packable snow. This road has not been plowed. Uh, the major uh, freeways up here, like 62, 289, 27, they've been plowed. We've seen the plows come by several times. We also just saw a big old Texas jackrabbit run by. That was, that was kind of uh, cool this morning. So cars coming up the frontage road. Here, notice just kind of uh, plodding along. That's what you have to do, especially if you don't have all wheel drive. Because front wheel drive, you know, sometimes, especially when you get more than four or five inches of snow, as we saw uh, not long ago, in fact, uh, two weeks ago in southern Iowa, you can get stuck. So, traffic at a minimum, uh, air travel, no impact yet out at the uh, Lubbock International Airport. Uh, as we follow the snow, continuing to add up, Kelly, another inch or two, it ends. Later today, our high temperature will top out in the upper 30s. That's really going to help out the situation on these roadways, although we expect little, if any, sunshine here in Lubbock. It, Kelly? It, it is amazing how this all evolved. You started out in Amarillo, where we thought the heavier snow was going to be, and believe it or not, you had to go south to find the heaviest snowfall. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. Four, five, yep. even six inches of snow. And it's not...